Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we are going to continue with our glide integrations series. So if you haven't yet signed up for the open beta for glide integrations, make sure you visit your team folder, view that blue banner and click that try now button. If you're watching any time past April 2023, these integrations are probably already there waiting for you. If you haven't yet taken a look at any of the integrations, all you have to do is dive into any of your apps once you've enabled the beta, go to settings, go to integrations, and you can see all of these different things third-party apps that you can integrate right into your Glide app without writing a single line of code. In a previous video, I showed you how you can do forward and reverse geocoding using the radar integration. If you missed that video, check the link in the description below, or you can click right over here and get started with that. In this video, however, we're going to show you how you can automatically generate stock photos from a body of text using the Pexels integration. So to get started, I'm going to click on Pexels, Add to App. We see here that it features both an action and a data column by generating that stock photo for text. It's looking for an API key, so I'm gonna head over to Pexels, sign in, uh, head over to my profile, and click on Image and Video API, where it's gonna present my API key for me. All right, I've copied that API. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here. And now I have Pexels added to my app. All right, so let's take a look at how we can leverage this. I'm gonna go to my data section here and go to my table called blog posts. And I want to create some different blog posts here just for sample purposes. Um, I'm not going to write all this content out. I'll have chat GPT do that for me. So I'm going to head over to chat and just copy this body of text that it created for me. Started off with Canada. It looks like it didn't finish Canada. Poor Canada. Ooh, let's do that. Look at that. Beautiful. So now that my written content is within this table, I need to generate that image. I'm going to go ahead and add a new column here. Let's call it image. And we're going to look for that Pexels integration column, which is found in the other section at the bottom, and then integrations. And we should now see a stock photo for text. I'm going to click on that. And here it's asking for the keywords. So I can point it to either the content or I can point it to the title. Let's try the title first because it's got the name of the place in there, Paris, Rome, Tokyo, so forth. Maybe it'll pick up on that item. All right, so let's go find the title. And we don't want the photographer, we want the actual image. Let's make it as large as possible. Done. All right, we got some URL for an image. Um, need to be able to see if this is a legit image for that particular location. So to do that, let's go ahead and create a new tab. We'll go screen from data. Let's generate a thing of blog posts here. And okay, so uh, Paris, the city of love, it found a, a heart sign here, okay. Rome, found the Colosseum. Tokyo, okay, New Zealand. Uh, we have some snowy mountains here. Uh, Bali, that looks pretty good. The Charm of Charleston, a southern gem. All right, so I found a, so I took a picture of a gem rather than Charleston. Uh, vibrant life of Rio de Janeiro. I think that was correct. Uh, Greece, fine. Istanbul, cool. All right, so I missed it on a couple of them, I think. I think this love one could have been better, and I think this gem one could have been better. So what we can do here is if we don't want to sacrifice our title, we just need to create a more of a specific keyword. So let's go ahead and add a new column to the right here, and let's just call this keywords. And we'll just fill this in with the name of the location. So Paris, Rome, Tokyo, and Istanbul. Okay, so we have these locations or these keywords. I'm not gonna display this at all in the app. I'm just using it to generate this image. All right, so let's point the image now to that keywords column. It's probably gonna generate some new images. Let's go back to our layout and see what it came up with. All right, so the magic of Paris. So we have these two people define dining. Uh, Rome, Tokyo, New Zealand, Bali, South Carolina, Charleston, Greece, Rio de Janeiro. So you see it generate those images almost instantly. So I'm guessing if you wanted to fine tune your images a little bit more, right, you can just adjust the keywords. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an image to each of these detail views. And maybe for my keyword here, I want Paris, France, city. We should see we have a new image here. Okay, that's the Louvre, 
fine. How about Paris, France at night? Okay. Maybe you just want the iconic Eiffel Tower at night. So let's say Eiffel Tower. All right, I think that looks a little bit more magical. So yeah, we can just fine tune each of these. Like maybe the charm of Charleston, really the Charleston, South Carolina. I want the, 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 the town or the city. Yeah, hey, that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So yeah, so you just go ahead and you, I went in the world, Wally. Oh, <laughs> I typed an E and it gave me Wally. That's hilarious. So as you can see, with just a few clicks, we were able to integrate high quality stock photos for each of our written content without writing a single line of code or having to do multiple Google searches to find the perfect image. All we had to do was write some keywords and let Pexels do the rest. Hopefully this inspires you to use the Pexels integration within your own app. If you have any questions on how to use the Pexels integration, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.